Folk Movement Once upon a time there was a leftist. He wasn't really a Marxist, but he did espouse liberal causes. This was before liberal was a bad word. It was 1962. He fashioned himself into a storyteller. He got the city to give him a couple of hours in Central Park every third Saturday so he could sit by the rocks and tell stories. Children had no idea how bad these were. They just liked the fact that they could sit around by the rock and have their mothers stand to the side and not annoy them while this leftist man, sitting with his legs crossed, in his thin sweater and worker's cap, told stories in a monotonous murmur. He brought a guitarist with him one day, who would strum between the words. The children giggled, because they thought it was funny. But then the children began to laugh and clap when the guitarist played Jimmy Crack Corn. The leftist sat on the side by himself, not with the mothers. Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. Jimmy Crack Corn and I don't care. My master's gone away. A fat, pipe-smoking man in an Aaron sweater walked up to the leftist while the guitarist was singing. This man leaned down, reached out his hand, and the leftist shook it. Can you sing Holloway Joe? said the man. I don't think that should be a problem, said the leftist. And he and the Irishman said to the man with the guitar, Holloway Joe. Soon all the children were singing, When I was a little boy, so me mother told me, Tell me, way haul away, will haul away Joe. That if I did not kiss the girls, me lips would all grow moldy, tell me. Way, haul away, will haul away, Joe. The only part the kids actually sang was Way, haul away, will haul away, Joe, but they loved it. Then the guitarist and the man in the iron sweater walked into a little building with a shiny gold handle across the street from the rock where the leftist had been telling stories. The sun gleamed as the door handle moved. Where did they go? shouted one of the boys. They went to see the dragon, said the leftist. The dragon, said a girl. This gave the leftist his big excuse, and Puff the Magic Dragon was sung for the next 25 minutes. Even the mothers came from the side to join in. As the children filed across the street and down the sidewalk toward the little chock full of nuts where the mothers were taking them, the door with the gold handle opened. It was a little man with a bright red face. He looked around and then, staring straight ahead, shouted, He'd better pay up! The leftist, with his bag of stories, was coming across the street. I'll cover them, he shouted. They're my friends. The children slowed and stood as the leftist reached into his wallet. There's a dragon in there, said one child to the man with the red face. Don't sing that song, said the man with the red face. We're not singing Danny Boy either, said the leftist. As he and the man with the red face began walking in, the man with the iron sweater fell out the door, flat on his face. As the leftist began to pick him up, the man with the guitar flew out, his guitar skittering across the sidewalk. Stay out, commies, someone shouted. There was blood on the face of the man with the iron sweater. The man with the red face handed the money back to the leftist. I'm not going to take this, but you lost us a night's take. He walked back inside, and the man in the Aaron sweater and the singer stood up. The leftist picked up the guitar, turning it over and over. As the mothers began pulling at the children's arms, three of them ran toward the leftist. Is that the dragon? one of them said. The leftist took off his worker's hat and wiped the blood off the man with the Aaron sweater's face. Puff the magic dragon, sang the man with the Aaron sweater. The children joined in. One of the mothers joined in. The other two mothers picked their children up bodily and took them home.